Hey guys, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Subnautica. So, uh, last time we were just out doing some exploring. I did run into a Leviathan of some type out there, which I have to assume was hostile. He moved quickly. He looked scary to me. He looked like a Reaper, but with kind of a hammerhead on him. A bit different than what the normal Reapers look like. I, I didn't get a, a close look at him, obviously. I ran away as soon as I saw him. He didn't see me, so that's good. But, um, what we're going to be doing today is exploring this cave system I found. Now, I've parked where I believe is right over this thing. Hopefully, um, I can... Well, we're gonna hope that we go where I want here. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, actually. That's, that's actually fine. Now, I may have to go a bit higher up to get my prawn suit back up in the Cyclops. May have to go back up a bit, but I think I'll be okay. So, uh, we're gonna go out this way. Let's see, we can just kind of, uh, walk around out here. Now, the crush depth on this thing is really, really low, but obviously I can't really make use of that. I can't go too deep. I have to be able to walk back, basically, wherever I go here. It's important that I be able to walk back. Does this thing have lights on it? I'm not even sure. Did I just like... No, I didn't, I didn't destroy him. There might not actually be anything all that interesting over here. I don't know. It looked really interesting. Uh, but... Maybe there isn't anything here. Did I just hear something? I can't, I really can't tell. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, I definitely hear something. And you... Oh! Ow! Whoa! Did he just swap me? Jesus Christ. He just swapped me with, like, where he was at. Okay. That was crazy, actually. When I pushed him, he did his attack, and, like, it... Get out of here, dude. Go... away. Whoa! What the hell? He just swapped himself with that thing. Oh, that's that's like so. It's like a swap thing. It swaps your locations and it hurts you in the process. That's great. That's wonderful. All right. Well, at the very least, I've got a tether uh, to some air that's a bit closer, so I can look around here a bit more freely and not be so concerned with that, with having the prawn suit over here anyway. Which is kind of nice. As long as that guy doesn't destroy my prawn suit, which would be really unfortunate. You just... You are not getting the message. Ow! Jesus Christ, you're not getting the message, dude. You're not getting the message at all. You're just... You're not, figure, you're not figuring it out, aren't you? Go away. I do not want you here. <sighs> okay. Smear back here. He, I just, I can't be over here. He's gonna keep harassing me. Those guys are the ultimate trolls, man. He must be guarding something if he's being this much of a pain in the ass.
Yeah, go bite him. Go bite him, guys. It's full on nighttime now. Really? Oh, really? He he shot a whole bunch of those. What a freaking jerk this guy is. He shot a whole bunch of spiders at me. What an asshole. This guy is truly like the ultimate troll in this game. You hear that, guys? You hear that, that like, scary sighing type sound? It's gotta be something. Something I don't want to meet out there. So it goes deeper down here. And we can go deeper, too. I wanted to check out this cave before we went even uh, even further down. I wanted to kind of get used to using the Cyclops in that manner. It's, it's like full-on nighttime now, though. I'm going to go ahead. You know, I could probably even pilot the Cyclops into here. It's probably possible. Can you run in this? Yeah, you can run. Kind of. It's a bit iffy. Now my... Really? Ooh. Okay. Um, did he just destroy... No, he didn't. He just warped me out of it. I didn't know they could do that. That's super annoying. I can't wait until I can, like... I was going to punch him in the face, man, but I, I couldn't really do it. It wouldn't let me. Well, he got me first. Yeah, I certainly hear something out there. Get up here. There's that guy over there. Right over here is where we came in from. Get up on it. Come on, dude. Come on. You can do it. Uh, you can do it. Or not. Okay. I'm really worried about, like, falling off and, uh, you know, having issues because I can't, I can't get loaded back up. Like, falling somewhere really deep and then not being able to get uh, back to the, the Cyclops. That would be truly scary. Catastrophic. Okay, I think we're right underneath of it. I think. It's so dark, I can't see. We are, but we're not. We're not close enough. You know what? I'm going to sleep for the night. And, um, Welcome we'll be able to see what we're doing better in the morning. We're going to load up the prawn suit and then go a bit deeper, I think. Okay, anybody scary out here? I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Just so much unknown out there, man. So much empty. All right, let's uh, power it up. up. Let's look at where we're at here. There's our prawn suit. So we just need to go down, I think. I think we have plenty of clearance to just go down. Let's go other way. Okay, that was. Oh, 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 got it, got it. Okay, I heard the, I heard the sound of hitting something. It actually, so it actually will, like, open up whenever you're close to it. Okay, cool. So I can right-click to exit, right-click to, nope, exit. And then, uh, if we go outside here, we ought to be able to just pop in it, and it should go right up into it. Without much issue at all. Power still is still very good. Let's go ahead and get up in here. And there we go. Successfully docked. Very good. That is really disturbing. Can I actually 
grab something off of that? That's really disturbing that that's coming through the wall there, but okay. So we want to go a bit uh, deeper here. Let's go ahead and go forward a bit. And we can go down to 500. Make sure we got plenty of clearance here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, forward a bit more. More warpers down there. I don't think they can damage this thing, fortunately. How deep are we? 400? Okay, we can still keep going deeper. I like the camera quite a lot. We're not clipping there, are we? I'd like to go deep enough that I can actually set down with the uh, prawn suit. Would be ideal. Am I hitting something? Maybe that. Let's see here, are we still good? Yeah, we're still pl plenty of room still. Gonna take this slow, guys. Actually, actually that. I think I can go all the way down here. This is probably good enough, though, yeah? 450... Eh, we can go a little bit deeper. That's, um... That's something man-made. Is that a life pod? Okay, we're currently good. Bit, bit deeper, sure. That's a life pod! Oh my god! There's a life pod all the way down here. I totally just stumbled upon it, too. Okay, okay, I got it. <gasps> oh god, there he is. Oh, fuck. Oh no! Silent running. For silent running. Oh god, I'm so scared. He is uh, really close, guys. Engine powering down. Okay, tell you guys what, we're going to Yeah, turn everything off. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, God, he's getting closer. Just go away, man. That's right, just go over there, go away. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. He's still kind of... He's still over in that area though. Oh, we're burning. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't think it does anything special. Uh, we're gonna turn the lights off, though. We're gonna go full dark here. Um, I can still do some exploration out here. You know, I guys, I know this is risky as hell, but um, at some point, you have to get over your fears. Question is, am I close enough here that I can actually get out?
Okay, okay, let's hurry up here. MK1, is that the Cyclops? Oh, it is. Near blueprint acquired. Life Pod 2 Chief, Technical Officer. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, that's good. And, um... It's a very interesting area down here. More aerogel things. I can, of course, I can farm those now. Not really a big deal. Boy, this is a really interesting area. And I'd like to look around a lot more. But oh man, is it scary. There are rubies here. Can I pilot the sub down to here? Man, that's gonna be risky as hell. Actually, you know what? Okay, this is below 500. What we need to do is go and build the depth module MK1 for this thing. Is that more blood? Yeah, blood oil. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems All right. I'm gonna close my eyes and hope he goes away. <laughs> that's what I'm- that's my- oh, I'm not tired enough to sleep. Crap. I- I can't skip this, really? Oh, God. Really? Not tired enough to sleep? But I want to go to bed and skip this. It's really scary. We can't go much deeper in this thing. I need to get the upgrade module before I can. Uh, okay, let me see. Is there anything I can do here? Doesn't involve getting eaten outside. Like, maybe making a, uh, a beacon. What do I need for a beacon? I want to make a beacon for this area and come back to it later. Okay, copper and titanium. Easy enough. I should make several of these while I'm at it, just so I have them. Okay. Alright, so my only goal right now is to make a beacon over here. This is a giant, giant cave opening here. Giant, scary, cave. Okay, got it. Because, yeah, what I think I'll do is bring the Cyclops over here once we have the depth module for it, and we'll explore over here properly. Because there are... It, it's deep. It goes deep, guys. It's, it's big, too. Like, we can actually bring the Cyclops in here and look around a bit. But not right now, because, yeah, scary as hell. I need to remove some of this stuff off of here, too. I could even build a base down here. Maybe that's what I should do, is build a base down here. I don't know. Is that silly, to build a base down here? It's probably insane. It's a very hostile area. There are a lot of warpers around. Can I go to sleep yet? I'd really like to go to sleep, man. I can. Oh, thank God. Is it any lighter out now? A little bit. Definitely brighter. I think we're going to go back, unless I can make a modification station on here. I don't think you can, though. I'm pretty sure to make that 
you have to make it. Um, and we're going to rig for silent running as well, even though it burns up uh, power like crazy. Rig for silent running. And we're going to go. Let me go as slow as we can here. Let me see. Is he around here? I don't. I don't see him anywhere any, anymore. Actually, he might have moved on, which would be great. Nothing would make me more happy. We're gonna go uh, over to the right. Then, yeah, we're gonna turn to the right. Go back to the base. All the while keeping an eye out. We're going to go and recharge our power cells, I think. And um, we'll come back with the depth module so we can go a bit deeper down here. Just hit something. But we're still at full health, so we're okay. We are going to come back over... Okay, that was not good. I didn't. I thought I had more clearance than that, but yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna come back with the uh, depth module. The head standard. I think we're okay now, guys. I think we're okay. Transitioning to a new area here. We are about a thousand away from the base, I think. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I think we're good to go now. Jesus Christ, probably just a fish though. Okay, all right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to the base. I'm gonna make the depth module for this thing. And I think I can make the depth module MK2 as well. Um, I just need the MK1. I think I already found the MK2 module. Just need to make the MK1. We can go super deep with this thing and we can explore that area a bit better. So I'll see you once we're back at the base and um, we'll make that. Okay, guys, safe and sound. We made it home. That was, that was, uh, I, I've been scared before, but that was pretty nerve wracking, I have to say. So let's go ahead and get that. What does the depth module require here? Let me find that out as well before we go inside to get the stuff that we need for it. All right, so I'm going to make this fire suppression system. I have enough stuff to make that. This is actually pretty cool, too. I should make this as well. Magnetite and computer chip. I can make that sonar upgrade. Um, this is pretty cool as well. The fire suppression system, so we'll make that. And the MK1 just requires rubies and plasteel. Okay, so we need uh, lithium, titanium, rubies, uh, magnetite, crystalline sulfur. Okay, we, we can get all this stuff, no problem. So we're going to make all three of these, I think. And uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so let me grab stuff and then we'll head in the base. All right, let's see how we're doing. God, this thing just doesn't use power, man. I guess it doesn't use power unless you're actually, like, charging something. Okay, first things first. Gonna get our batteries going here. Oh, I should have brought... Oh, I didn't bring my other batteries along. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna want to make these two. All right. Anyway, let's go and get this, um... Let's see here. I can make the propulsion cannon or the grappling arm. I want to make both of these, I think. I think I have materials for both. Um, I see no reason why not to. I'll make a different one later on, but for now, I think that's a good, it's a good thing to do. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could have made a modification station on the Cyclops, I think. Oh, well, it's fine. There's stuff I would need that I don't have currently. So I can make a depth module MK3 and an MK2. Um, where do you make the MK1 at then? Oh, oh, here, here it is. I, Cyclops Upgrade Fabricator. Okay, God, I went right by that. Ah, okay, I understand now. This is where you do it. All right, that makes a lot more sense. So we're going to make all this stuff that we possibly can. So Depth Module MK1, need a Plasteel Ingot. That's super easy to get. Okay, I will be back. Okay, guys, once again, I've messed up. I forgot to start recording. So I've got the CMOD pretty much set up here. I have the Depth Module MK3. It's a deep, as deep as it can go. The Perimeter Defense System, the Engine Efficiency Mod, and the Hull Reinforcement. So I think that's about pretty good. I'll, I'll keep the Storage Module um, on the Cyclops in case I want to swap it out. But yes, we are going to be taking the CMOD out, and it has all those good upgrades on it, so it should do pretty well. Now, uh, 900 is the deepest it can go. I don't know how deep this area is going to go. Hopefully that's enough 
you know, we can always just swim down with the, the sea glide a bit if we have to, but um, anyway, I've also got the depth module on the Cyclops, so that's at 900 as well, so 900 is kind of our hard limit right now. Um, I need to get some more materials, mainly nickel, which I don't have any of, if I want to upgrade further. So we're going to go ahead and um, get the Seamoth docked on the Cyclops and get some supplies and stuff, make sure everything's sorted here at the base, and then we'll head out and I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to make a um, stasis rifle as well while I'm back home here. I've been putting that off for... I don't even know why. I mean, no reason, just laziness really. And we're going to take the Seamoth out here and then dock the uh, prawn suit in here for now until I get more upgrades for it. Mainly the drilling arm is what I want. Basically, I'll use the Seamoth until I can't anymore because we're going too deep. Okay, there's our stasis rifle. Finally made that. I'll take it out and have a look and see what it does once, uh, well, on the next day. I'm going to take my stuff out of here and recharge it as well. Okay, guys, I think I think I'm all done with all the upgrades and everything. I think we're all good to go. Uh, recharging my batteries and everything, so everything should be good. So we're gonna head back out to Giant Scary Cave, and we're going to go and take a look. So we're gonna actually take the Cyclops, which now has a depth of 900 as well as the uh, Sea Moth does too. We're gonna take both of them down that side of that cave, and uh, you know we're gonna hope for the best, I guess. Hopefully, they don't get killed, but. Um, yeah, after all that crafting and stuff, I'm a, a lot, I don't know, a lot more confident, I guess. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens, but I really think we're probably going to find some interesting stuff out there, so... Let's take a look. I guess I'll see you once we're there. Oh, guys, look at this. There's a vent over here. I didn't see this earlier. It's another one of those alien vent things. I totally missed that earlier. Just happened to be peering out as I was uh, going around out there. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh, and I have not had a chance to use my stasis rifle either. Yeah, you're stuck, aren't you? Oh, it charges too. Kaboom! You know, go nowhere. So here's one of these things again. Get my scanner out here. More data was needed on these things. It really lasts quite a long time, doesn't it? All right, get out of here, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see what this All says. Online. Alien data, scan data, alien vent. Okay, this is the same thing we saw last time. Peepers go in and out. Most creatures avoid them. Um, further research is required. So I really know. Okay. All right, that's not that helpful, I guess, but that's fine. Okay, where is the, the beacons over here? All the way down here. Alright, let's get out on the camera again. So we can see where we're going proper. For the love of God, what just hit me? I don't see anything. It had to be just like a fish or something. Okay, yeah, we're right over it now. Really, dudes? Like, I don't... I don't think I'm hitting anything here. So, giant scary cave is dead ahead. I want to keep an eye out for uh, you know who as well. Would not do to get everything upgraded and then, you know, 
immediately. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Silent Big Running now. Silent I think. Running. Still good here on our clearance and everything. Yeah, we're still good. Right, I know you can see better during the daytime here, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, power it down. Down. We'll sleep for the night, and then we'll. Uh, oh, I can't really. Not yet tired enough to sleep. Come on, man. Really, just just let me sleep. Come on. Crap. All right, fine. Rig for silent running. Engine powering up. I can't see a damn thing, man. It's too dark to be doing this. Okay, I'm just gonna look around a little bit outside then. With the sea moth, maybe. In the absolute pitch black down here. But hey, we can go to 900 meters now, so. We don't actually have to take the. Um, yeah, we. I still hear him. We don't have to take the uh, the sub out this far, though, really. Are we actually inside of it now? Like, is this? Oh yeah, we're we're like we're already past it. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We're this is actually we're here. Yeah, beacon's right here. We're going this way because we want to go deeper in. That was the idea, anyway. Go a bit deeper. Yeah, we saw these things over here. Yep, this is the area we were at earlier. But this is, like, the opposite... You guys are gonna lose if you try to bite me. This is like the opposite way. In fact, maybe I was actually already over here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw I was out here, but I did not have the sea moth because, um, well, I didn't have the crush depth line to actually go this deep. Now, do I have? I don't. Okay, we're gonna go and get because down here. Remember, guys, down here is around here somewhere is where we found the um, the uh, alien place and I want to go and see what's in there and I have tablets now so I can actually get in there so it seems like the scary noise the Leviathan whatever he is is over here we're actually pretty close to being able to go down through here like if we just go a bit forwards here and then go straight down we should be fine Careful. Carefully. Not really. Okay. Can I sleep? Yeah, we're, we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna do it in the morning. Maybe it'd be better to do it at nighttime, though. I don't know if those guys can actually see or not. They seem to use sonar. wonder what would happen if you got hit while you were, like, just getting your morning stretch in. I'm also, uh, like, too worried to use sonar because I think that would probably attract them. Okay, I think I think we're okay here. So we're going to rig for silent running. 
Rig for silent running. Engine powering up. Nice and slow. Go nice and slow here. Get our camera pointed downwards. Nobody needs to get upset here or anything. So we're going to take it down, then we're going to turn around and go inside that cave. Still good? Plenty of clearance. Shit. Did I just use up a, um, a power cell already? I guess I did. That must have been what that sound was. bit deeper. Alright, let's see. How are we doing on power here? We're still good. Still got plenty. I think we can take that off now. The head standard. Okay, that that should be plenty. Um, I think we're I think we're safe. The reason I'm doing this is I think we're safe inside of here. I can even turn my lights on if I wanted to, but no, I'm not going to. We're gonna we're gonna set everything like that. Everything's off. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and hop out in the sea moth and take a look around there. Oh, and let's not forget this time. Let's not forget to get our... I wonder if I run into that if it actually hurts me. It probably does. But let's not forget to get our... Um, these things. Take one of those as well, just in case. What's going on here? Like, every time I open something, like, it's like I'm slipping down to the side of the floor. It's kind of weird. All right. Got that. Do we have any first aid? We need some first aid stuff just in case, don't we? Yeah, let's get some water. Some that, some first aid. Okay. Aboard, and we are good to go. So, the goal is to find that... Oh, I need to, I need to put the beacon on, don't I? Where's the beacon at here? Alien need tablet, that's what I need. Yeah, beacon alien need tablet. Where is that at? Alien island. Giant scary cave. Oh, it's actually this way. Okay. I wonder if I can actually get over there from here? I don't know. There was the other entrance over here. Maybe I can get there by going the other way around. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now, guys, because I need to be able to hear if I if that guy is around here. And I can't do that if I'm talking. Oh, here we go, here we go. This looks correct. Okay, so how do I get over here? Right here, here we go, yeah. Okay, I don't see anything. We just keep following these. There's a cave over here. I 
I do hear him, but it sounds like he's a good ways away. I heard uh, another alien guy over there, too. Now, I don't think we can... F can we fit this in here? Uh, no, I don't think it's really worth trying. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is where we wanted to go earlier, and we could not. All right. Let's do it. What do we have here? Oh, we have more... More, um, ion cubes. Okay. Oh, I can scan those. I should be scanning them. Hold on, hold on. Oh, the music cut off. Just as they're a valuable energy source. Data terminal, data download. I just have a feeling something scary is going to happen when I do that, so... I'm going to get these first. That looks like an ore node, but it's not. And is there, like, nothing else in here? Before I do the data download, I want to see if there's anything else. I think that's, I think that's it. I think we're good. Okay. Alien Sanctuary Beta. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so that's that's all that's here. But it's it this is a very important location, I think. Uh let me see here. I don't know if I'll actually need that or not, so I'll leave it there for now. Right, we cannot actually get the sea moth inside of here, I don't think, but let's go outside of here. Alright, let's see here. This interchamber consists of a series of data hubs, each adorned with an ion cube. These are networked up to the main terminal in parallel, presumably to ensure data integrity over time. Unprecedented data complexity, stored data was scanned into the system at the local terminal, original data source was organic in nature. Organic, really, okay. Evidence suggests that this interchamber served as a sanctuary of last resort for the aliens that built it. In the event of catastrophe, they could retreat here and somehow transfer themselves into the data hubs for preservation. So, it literally is the, the aliens themselves. It's unclear whether other members of the alien species ever returned here or how many souls are backed up on the hubs, but the data stored is far too complex to reconstitute with the little information available. So they literally, like, backed up their bodies so they could, like, I don't know, like, re... like, remake themselves later on. That's crazy. That's cool, though, man. That's really, really cool. Learned something very, very new there. Hopefully, like, there's nothing that, like, triggers those that big giant thing coming down here. Just as we got the data or something. That would suck. Alright, well, um... We can go deeper, yeah? So, where I want to go is actually the opposite way to explore a bit more in that, uh, green river area. Because I want to find out more about that, and that's, um, it's over here, right? Yeah, giant scary cave, okay. Have to actually go around here, I think. Keep an eye out for anything that looks like a new type of ore, because I need nickel ore really badly. And there could very well be some around here. We'll take the uranite as well. There is tons of quartz down here, man. Like, just lots of quartz everywhere. Which I really don't have that big of a need for. I'm not sure why I'm even picking it up. But if I ever need quartz, there is tons of it down here. Assuming I'm willing to brave that guy again. It's 
So we're gonna see Moth over here and go deeper into that that cave area because I didn't explore it thoroughly. The uh, the scary Green River area. I didn't really didn't really look at that much because I didn't really have time for it. Yeah. So over here. Am I going the right way here? Pretty sure I am. Yeah, I went I went right past my beacon and didn't even notice it whenever I was in my uh, my sub. So yeah, we're looking for new ore types and stuff around here. Now that I have the sea moth down here, it makes things much easier. I don't know if I got a sample of these either. I like more of that crystalline sulfur as well, though. Like, can I just hit this thing and get a sample of it? Mm, doesn't look like it. Just lead there. There's more crystalline sulfur. Just be careful you don't get too close here. You get too close. I think I think you take damage. I'm not positive on that, but it seems like you take damage. I definitely didn't take the time to look around here as much as I should have last time. The old copper ore here. That's where it's nice to have that drill arm. I can just break that copper ore off, though. Not that I really need the copper ore at the moment, you know. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Let's take everything back to the Cyclops, then. Just load back up, dump everything off the Cyclops, and come back down. These guys seem not hostile as well, I think. Can I scan you, dude? Ghost Ray. Come on, hold on. I'll scan you, buddy. You can see his internal organs and stuff in there, too. Let's see here. Inedible. Fuse on plant matter. Okay. What does it say? Poisonous flesh? Okay. It's a very resilient herbivore because his, his flesh is poisonous. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Definitely we're going to go deeper over here. But first, we'll go back and um, dump off our stuff here. That actually might be the end of this episode, guys. I think we might go ahead and end it here, and we'll do a full exploration of this area next episode. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time.